to do is we're going to create some text and we're going to clone an object onto it. Now in the past we've made Mo text, which is um, 3D text. This time around I just want to make some curves or some splines as they're called in 3D and then we're going to use those, those curves as the object that we clone spheres onto. So instead of going to MoGraph and creating Mo text, we can go to our Create menu, go down to Splines. Remember, Splines is just another way, name for curves. And in the Splines menu, we've got Text. Now this text will have um, similar kind of settings in the Attributes setting panel on the right to um, what we have in our Mo text. Um, Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to change my text to MoGraph because that's really original. Feel free to put something more creative there. The other thing I'm going to do with my text is I'm going to change the alignment of it to the middle. So there's a little drop down box uh, just underneath your font selection. I'm just going to put my text in the middle because that way it centers it at the origin and when I create new stuff they'll all be centered around that point. It's just a tidy thing. Um, I'm just trying to keep all my objects in the center of my 3D scene. Now to start with, just to illustrate how the cloning onto curves works, I'm going to use a font that's quite thick and chunky, something like an impact or something that's really quite a big chunky font. So um, uh, just give me a second for this to kick in, here we go, um, HI impact, that'll do. Or anything that's quite big and got quite thick letters, maybe a, a Helvetica black or something like that. Uh, it, do, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I just want something quite bold. That's Helvetica bold. It'll do. Okay, so we're going to clone some spheres onto this text. So, first of all, we need a cloner. So, under our MoGraph menu, we're going to make a cloner. Excellent. Next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to make some spheres. So let's go create object sphere. And what I want to do is I'm going to spell out the text with these spheres. So I need lots of quite small ones. So I'm just going to scale the sphere down to, um, mine's about 10 centimeters in size. Yours could be different if the size of your text is different. Um, you can adjust it to whatever you want. So there's my sphere, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into my cloner. So we've got a bunch of cloned spheres. So I've got some plain old text that I've made from my Create Spline text menu. I've got a cloner from my MoGraph menu. And I've grabbed just a small sphere, I've scaled it down, and I've dropped it into my cloner. So, with our cloner, we want to clone our spheres onto this text. Um, we did that previously with our um, when we made the abstract sphere with um, tubes coming out of it. So to do that, let's select our cloner. And in its attributes, under this object tab, at the moment we're just making a linear array, a line of clones. I want to change that to an object covered in clones. So once I do that, I've got a field here in my cloner where it says object, it's currently empty. I need to just click and drag and drop my text into that field. And it should now spread a bunch of spheres over that, um, over that text. I'm going to go through this and then I'll go back through it again afterwards. Okay, so once I've got my spheres cloned onto these uh, onto these curves that make up the text, there's a couple of settings that uh, are, are going to be really important. We want to control how these spheres are cloned across these curves. At the moment, they're distributed just by uh, what's called the count, so how many there are. And we can change that count, there's 10, we can put lots in there, and you can see that they're kind of distributed a little unevenly. We've got lots on some of these curves. We don't have many on these straight parts. Um, I'd quite like them evenly distributed across my text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this count distribution to step. And step gives us one sphere every, in this case, 100 centimeters. So every 100 centimeters of curve, it puts a sphere on there. If I reduce this number, if I just click and drag on the arrow, if I make that number smaller, it fills up that spline. Whoops, don't go down to zero, otherwise you have infinite spheres. 
could kill your computer. If I put, say, two centimeters, I've got a sphere every two centimeters, and you can see it's filling up this curve with all these spheres. That's probably more than I need, so I'll try five centimeters. And again, your settings might be different if your scale of your text and your sphere is different. Okay, so here's one effect that we've discovered already. Now we can clone objects evenly along curves using this step function. That's pretty exciting. What we're going to do is we're going to reveal this text. We're going to have these spheres appear along the curves as we go. And the way that we do that is by using these start and end values. Remember when we made those energy um, line things around our Lego wall? We had a sweep function and we animated the start and end of the sweep. This is a similar kind of thing. If we grab the end value of this, um, this cloner and if we drag it to the side, you'll see that the spheres um, draw off. You know, they, they disappear off the text. So basically, as this end value extends, it's drawing the spheres on along the curve. So we can animate this to reveal text using cloned objects. That's pretty cool. You'll notice when I do this, all the letters are drawing at the same time. So each letter is, has got its own um, series of animated spheres appearing along it, and they're all doing that at the same time. I'd quite like to be able to draw the whole text from one side to the other. So rather than use individual um, letters, draw it in one whole go. The way that we do that is use this per segment function. Per segment means per, per character or per um, section of curve. If I turn that off, it treats this as one big piece. And now if I adjust that end, it draws the letters on one by one. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's got our text um, drawing on and cloned across our uh, sphere that we've got there.